the Empoleon line, ice typing. Now for this one I am leaning on the fact that as indicated by Piplup and Primplup's Pokemon category and a few of their name etymologies in different languages, such as Korean, it's based off penguins. Most likely the Emperor Penguin or Royal Penguin that live in Antarctica, aka Arctic environments. And this fact is linked to their dex entries referring to how Empoleon uses its wings to slice up ice flows, which was also mentioned in the anime, Printplop mentioning how it prefers to live in icy seas or frigid seas when hunting, and Piplop is mentioned to prefer cold climes, like polar climates, which matches together with it having a thick down to guard it from those cold temperatures, which again, was also mentioned in the anime. It can even be found in Arctic-like environments, like in the Crevice Cave in the Mystery Dungeon games, from the Pokemon Ranger games like the Ice Lake and the Ice Temple. Even Primplop and Empoleon are referred to as protectors of the Iceberg Zone, and Empoleon even has an attraction called Empoleon's Snow Slide in Pokepok Wii, and so on. Not to mention, it can even learn a decent amount of ice type moves already, like Mist and Hail. And as a side note, if a Pokemon like Eskew, who also blatantly resembles a penguin, is given the ice typing, then I absolutely don't see why not for Empoleon. Star Raptor, Fighting Typing. Honestly, if there's one regional bird to date that could pull off this typing, it's definitely Star Raptor. And while this may very well be kind of a stretch to mention, from what we do know about Star Raptor, it was at the time of its debut, and even now, one out of a couple of bird like Pokemon to learn close combat upon evolving, in addition to a few other fighting type moves. And its in game and anime dex entries describe it as having developed courage to challenge larger and stronger foes as a result of its savage, ferocious nature and having developed strong, muscular wings and legs which allow it to seek out challenges to test its now sturdy wings and carry away large, burly targets. This could explain the tremendous attack stat it has as well, which is a characteristic of fighting type Pokemon such as Pachoke and Urshifu among many others. The Drift Blim Line, Dark Typing The main reason for this pertains to their dex entries in the games, anime, photo dex entry, and its Super Smash Bros Brawl trophy description, that all infamously describe both of them, especially Drifloon, as kidnapping children, or adults with Drift Blim, and taking them away to the afterlife, which interestingly enough is supported by its Japanese Pearl entry referring to it as the world of the dead. And in the Pokemon Ranger side series games, they mention how they sprue out orbs imbued with lonesome emotions to attack. That is also a reflection of the decent amount of dark type moves they can already learn. The Lucario line, Psychic Typing. For this typing, I say because as stated in their Pokemon category, in-game dex entries, anime dex entries, and even their Super Smash Bros Brawl trophy description, they both have the ability to control, sense, and emit from their bodies a special type of energy called Aura. And as a result, they are able to sense the emotions of people and Pokemon from a mile away, read their thoughts and actions, communicate amongst themselves telepathically, and in Lucario's case, understand human speech, also known as telepathy, all by concentrating its mental energy which has been showcased numerous times in the anime like with Ashes and Karina's Lucario, the Lucario in Movie 8, manga depictions, and the Lucario you acquire in Pokemon X and Y on account of it reading your feelings. All of which can be interpreted as a supernatural ability commonly depicted with psychic type Pokemon, like the Lati Twins for example. This can tie into its name origin from Oracles which are known for their precognition ability which both can do by sensing its opponent's aura, and in addition to learning a fair amount of psychic type moves already such as Heal Pulse. Dialga, Psychic Typing the main reasons for this type draws upon the fact that across most forms of media from side series games like Mystery Dungeon and Super Smash Bros, the anime and special animated appearances, manga depictions, movie appearances, and the official Pokemon website itself, it has temporal abilities like in its Pokemon category suggests, that allows it to control the fabric and flow of time, travel between and reside within dimensions, create dimensions as shown in the main series games and Pokemon Avengers manga, and in the Legends Arceus anime special, its powers can even devolve anything and anyone against their will, all of which is blatantly expressed in its dex entries associating it with its birth and heartbeats. Now, if you compare that idea to other Pokemon who are said to manipulate time or travel between dimensions in a similar manner, like for example, Bronzong is stated to travel between dimensions, Celebi can travel through time, and Unknown noted for residing in a different dimension, you can see that it really starts to imply the idea that this ability is seemingly represented as psychic abilities. 
though maybe that's explained with its the steel typing with its connection to watches and or clocks the properties of metal and references to time and its name etymology in fact in pokemon legends arceus and movie 12 especially it is shown to display telepathic powers and communicate with humans which of course are psychic abilities that it also possesses as its hidden ability by the way and when using raw time in its origin form the sheer power can cause distortions in time in the moves animation at times and while it does not get much psychic type moves it can learn trick room which is likely an extension of its ability to create dimensions but also a move learned mostly by psychic type pokemon palkia psychic typing I'll start this one off by saying that this is a very similar case to Lugia where it's incredibly obvious for it to be a certain type, yet it isn't given that typing. That aside, from what we are shown in various forms of media from side series games like Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Ranger and its gravity manipulation ability and trophy description in Super Smash Bros, the anime and special animated appearances, the Pokemon Adventures manga, movie appearances like movies 10 to 12, and from the official Pokemon website itself, that Palkia through its two pearls possesses spatial manipulation abilities like its Pokemon category states, that allows it to warp over and distort space, reality, and travel between and reside in dimensions which in the Legends Arceus anime special, its powers were shown to be able to create time distortions or alternate realities, connect parallel dimensions together and manipulate them, and of course, devolve anything and everyone against their will. This is all stated in its anime and in-game dex entries associating the stabilization of space with its breath. And just like Dialga, aspects of this kind of ability can be found in other Pokemon such as Hoopo and its loops that can warp space, Celebi traveling through time, Bronzong's cry opening up holes into other worlds, Unknown residing in its own dimension, and Sogaleo and Lunala that can both cross through dimensions or wormholes, all of which are coincidentally psychic types as a result. And like Dialga, as shown in the main series games, especially in Legends Arceus, it is shown capable of displaying telepathic powers and communicating with humans, which of course are psychic abilities that it also possesses as its hidden ability, by the way. And while it does not get much psychic type moves, it can learn Trick Room, which is likely an extension of its ability to create dimensions, but also a move learned mostly by psychic type Pokemon. Also, as a little side note, the fact that it can warp the space around itself may explain why it is able to fly as shown in the anime and movies, since Palkia could be emitting energy that warps the space around itself and thus allows it to defy gravity and fly. Just an interesting idea.